On Fridays, my bosses give me the chance to talk about something close to my heart. And this week, once again, I find myself talking about the coronavirus, but more specifically, how the coronavirus has become so politicized, which is dangerous when you're talking about something that has killed 151,000 Americans. On Monday, my Facebook feed, and I'm sure many of you saw the same thing, was flooded with images of a group of white-coated doctors all calling themselves America's frontline doctors, standing in front of the U.S. Supreme Court delivering two messages. One, that masks aren't necessary, and two, that there was finally a cure for the coronavirus. Nobody needs to get sick. This virus has a cure. It is called hydroxychloroquine. It was only minutes before the comments started flooding my social media. Hey, Curtis, bet you won't report this, or why doesn't the left-wing media report the truth? Why? I'll tell you why. Because that little stunt, which is all it was, was set up and perpetrated by dark money political organizations, pushing a message about a drug that most public health officials have labeled not only as ineffective, but also dangerous. It was disinformation at its finest, and yet, to unsuspecting consumers of social media. It was a ray of hope and validation for all of those who believe that wearing a mask doesn't help and that finally there was a cure. Well, guess what? You were misled. Not, not only were you misled, but you were accusing anyone of not running with the message of a doctor who in the past had said that certain gynecological problems are caused by sexual encounters with a demon of being a liberal hack. That doctor, Stella Emanuel, who is who you're going to believe. And as far as politicizing COVID-19, that little disinformation fest was put on and funded by the Tea Party Patriots, a very wealthy political group, which they're entitled to do, but there is no doubt where they stand. My point is, we all wanna feel validated for the things that we believe in, or for someone to calm our fears. There's nothing I want more than to see a cure for coronavirus to see families not have to say goodbye to their loved ones who die alone on a ventilator. The danger is there are groups out there on the right and the left that will prey on your hopes and fears to push their own agenda. And to some of these groups, the truth and the facts aren't nearly as important as their message and the power that that message, if people believe it, can give them.